Get ready, Lo-Fi Nation. It's Messy Monday. And welcome everyone to the Lo-Fi poli Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pickering. That's right, Lo-Fi's and Lo-Fidelity, low-quality, in-your-face, messy-as-can-be global news show. Here we're going to talk about that famous question, what's going on in the world today? I hope everyone's ready for this edition of Messy Monday. It's that fast cap we can recap. Messy Monday's We Can Recap will bring you 10 fast-paced headlines from across the globe, and then a piece of humanity to send you on your way for the week. And let's be clear, it was a messy weekend around the world. The news fresh off the press. The following three stories all come from the BBC World section. We begin on Australia. Indigenous deaths in custody. Why Australians are seizing on U.S. protest. This story illustrates how this moment, in one country, is being used to create a series of moments across the globe. Minority groups everywhere are beginning to speak their messages. And those series of moments being created could lead to a wave of change across the world. Knowing about one moment is never enough. Wake up, Lo-Fi Nation. It may be Monday, but the world is wide awake. Next, we move to the UK. The headline, Edward Colston, Bristol slave trader statue was an affront. Over the weekend, anti-racism protests in the UK's Bristol tore down and threw a bronze statue of a slave trader into a harbor. The mayor of the area stated he felt no loss over the statue's demise, as he and police stood down and allowed the removal to take place. The prime minister of the country, Boris Johnson, called it a criminal act. A moment, lo-fi listeners. Watch your ears. Hey, Johnson, why don't you go to Bristol and tell them that? Running all messy at the mouth while safely away in London. I'm sure the good people of Bristol would love, love to have that conversation with you about the issue. Now to Iran and the UN we go for our third story. Iran blocking sites access, UN nuclear watchdog says. Wait, who's blocking what and from whom? That's right, as part of the original Iran nuclear deal, Iran is supposed to give the International Atomic Energy Agency access to all nuclear sites. However, for the past four months, apparently, there have been two sites completely off limits to the agency. We don't speculate here at Lo-Fi poli but damn, this doesn't look good for trying to save that deal. We'll be keeping a close eye on this one for sure to see how Iran responds to this report. The following three stories all come from Reuters World News. To China we go, where Beijing is getting messy with Hong Kong. Because of course they are. The headline, Chinese officials suggest Hong Kong should behave to keep high autonomy behind 2047. Damn, China, why don't you tell us how you really feel? Just go ahead already and uh, lay out all the reasons you want to use to deny Hong Kong of their freedoms moving forward. No, really, go ahead. We'll wait. What's that I hear? Silence. Because we all know you're simply going to use whatever excuse you want at the moment to justify whatever it is you do in the future. And now to a place that knows no bounds for the amount of messiness that can be achieved. The U.S. Trump plans to sign bill pressuring China over Uyghur Muslims crackdown source. Well, 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 what is this? The U.S. moving forward on a piece of legislation to condemn another country's treatment of minorities? And tomorrow we here at Lo-Fi poli predict, yes, I said predict, China will respond by doing the same thing to the U.S. over its own treatment of minorities within the country. It's Monday, all right. People pointing fingers early in the week. And to perhaps a place with an individual that if there was a ten, top 10 messiest people on earth, the following individual may be pretty high up on that list. To Russia we go. Upcoming vote could extend Putin's rule. Some Russians might not know that. Whoa, 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 whoa. So let's backtrack, rewind, and say what? So we've been talking about this for literally months. The vote was supposed to happen on April 22. Now it's going to happen on July 1st. And you're telling me some Russians still don't know that this vote is about extending Putin's rule till 2036? Well, how the hell did this happen, you may ask? Quite simple. The government simply forgot to put that piece of information on their website about what's in the new proposed amendment. Messy, Putin. Very messy. And our final four stories all come from the Associated Press, International and Oddities section. We return to the Middle East. The story. Turkey. Two journalists detained over espionage probe. That's right, you know we here at Lo-Fi poli love to get into the realm of international syndicates and espionage. This story, however, is not that. This story taken with seven journalists that were arrested last month simply illustrates how messy President Erdogan is when it comes to silencing media freedom in the country. Governments around the globe too often are now using defamations and national security laws to imprison critical journalists for their work. We'll be keeping an eye on this development for sure. Now staying in the Middle East, but moving to Israel. The headline, 
settler leader Netanyahu moving forward with annexation plans. Now you want to talk about some messiness. If this goes through, and Israel really does annex part of the West Bank this month, we're going to see some real messiness real fast, lo -fi Nation. Keep your eyes open out there. A lot's going down this week. Our next two stories to send you on your way for the week. To Europe we go, and Denmark. Panda escapes from enclosure at Danish Zoo, returned safely. Apparently, a seven-year-old panda at the zoo in Denmark didn't like being locked up in their new $24 million enclosure and climbed a metal pole that was circled with electrical wire to do so. The implications. No matter if you spend $24 million or $100 million on a prison, it's still a prison. We are pro-panda here at Lo-Fi poli -Sci. And Denmark, that panda just sent you a message. We wait patiently for your response. And a last piece of news for the messiest of the day. A man-made piece of messiness, if you will. To the U.S., the story. Treasure chest hidden in Rocky Mountains finally found. So I'm not sure where I was over ten years ago when this treasure hunt started, but apparently some guy hid about a million dollars worth of jewels and gold in a treasure chest in the mountains, wrote poetry about it as a clue, and the hunt was been going on for ten years now. But an anonymous person just claimed those riches. The implications. Again, where was I when this news about a treasure hunt went open on ten years ago? I tell you, Lo-Fi Nation, if you give me the option, treasure hunter, other profession, I choose treasure hunter. And that's a brief snapshot of what's going on in the world today. Always remember that Lo-Fi poli is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Please write in with your questions, comments, or requests for countries for our news segments, or top 10 globalists you want to see, too. Lo-Fi poli -sci at planetmail.com. That's Lo-Fi, L-O-F-I, poli, P-O-L-I, sci, S-C-I, at planetmail.com. Let me say thank you so much for listening. Stay safe, wash those hands, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Lo-Fi poli -sci podcast. Pickering, signing off.